Welcome to yet again another train yard review. Today what we are reviewing is Bertram. Now Bertram is one of the models that people have one of the most complaints about for realism to the TV series. Now um, right away I'm going to resolve that. Basically what happened was uh, originally they were going to have a whole new engine for Bertram construction right from the ground up and they spent a lot of work into the design and model specifications of it and it basically was going to look like this on paper but uh, what they did do because they were cutting costs they just recycled Duke's model painted Duke um, kind of this brown color that Bertram is and used him like that so um, this is what Bertram would have looked like if they had the budget to make a new locomotive for him so um yeah, so that, right out of the back, I'm saying like that, because I don't want any complaints saying, Oh, he looks totally not like he did on TV series. Yes, but it's something nice for me, at least, because uh, it's showing all the hard work that the model designers put into it before he, they, their budget was cut. So, um, yeah, and now this reveals many different hidden seeking secrets about the Bertrand model itself. Um, for one, okay, bring it. Zoom, focus, dang it, right there we go, there we go, so uh, many, many great details on the item, um, for starters, you see the funnel, dang it, let me just, there we go, okay, so uh, first thing is the funnel, see those little lines on, that was going to be on the model Bertram too. they put so much detail into this uh, Bertram, that's really amazing for me. So, um, the two red bone um, domes, and you can see they're at different heights and sizes. That's even more effort that they put into it. The gold lining and a little L on the side of the bowler. I'm not sure what that was going to stand for. And, um, yeah, no detail in the back. Uh, not painted coal bunker. Uh, Bertram. The, this is the 2011 version. And, um, yeah, and it's the model face. So this is an extremely detailed item, and I love it for that. I don't care what anyone says, but how it's not in a TV series like this. So, um, yeah. I know it's starting to get into a rant video about that misconception. Not so much of a um, yeah. review, but um, let's go back to the review. So uh, they put amazing effort and detail into it, and they would have to look up and discuss with the model, original model designers what it was going to look like because they uh, made the, sh the model Bertram a few years after they even did him in the episode I think and uh, the original model episode, the original Bertram and the scrap cars this is the 2011 Tomy re-edition of it though so um, yeah so um, I think it's amazing model personally and it's great to even have a Bertram Bertram was a cameo engine he never spoke, and he was just sitting there. So I think it's great we got an engine that even never spoke, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, I like the model itself. I'll probably be using him for cameos or something in my series. Not even sure, but it's great to have him because he was only here for a short time. So, um, that's Bertram. For realicity, this I, this model is one of the most accurate representations that I could think of by just looking at one. Not accurate to the TV series, but his model. They put so much work for realism into this one. Um, I would even have to give it a 9 out of 10 because it's not over cluttered, it's not over realism. But they just put so much effort into it, like the funnel, and the different boiler sizes, dome sizes, and... Um, all that work. The only two things that I could probably take off from it is it doesn't have a painted coal bunker and uh, the wind, it has no cat windows, which it might have not had anyways. But not sure, but those are the only two cherry picks I can pick about it now. Um, yeah, so I think it's a great model. If I was you, I wouldn't go buy him. I'm only doing it because I'm, <laughs> let's face it, I'm a diehard collector of the wooden railway. So, uh, I saw him at Toys R Us in 2013, two years after he was supposed to be 
discontinued or whatnot, and I jumped at the opportunity and got them. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't buy them if you were ordering off eBay. There's much better things to be bought first than Bertram. I would focus on getting real rolling stock, not all these crazy inaccurate rolling stocks, but stuff that you can actually use for yourself, like um, troublesome trucks, tankers, passenger coaches, anything like that. Or basic characters like Donald and Douglas, I would definitely get before him, yeah, or Boko. Things like that, which aren't so common, but great for a series. So yeah, those are my opinions on Bertram. Thanks for watching.